What's up, Demon Monsoon Light Me vs. Die Jeffrey Demon Monsoon Music? Thank you all so much for getting us over 500 subscribers. Big video that we aired about someone. But this video that we're about to air, I want to put a disclaimer in. It is R-rated. There's some cursing in it. This fighter does not represent any other organization but himself. He had a grievance. We gave him a chance to air it on the show. So enjoy and comment below. And we will wait for the other party involved to respond. If they would like to respond, reach out to me. The email address is on the bottom of, at the end of the video. From it. This was taken this past Saturday at the yard. Peace. This is my passion. This is my love. This is the heart and soul of Monsoon Live. Welcome everybody to a special edition of Demon Monsoon Live. Now as we're marching towards our big season finale and then we start season 15, um, we are at the Street Beast event. Yes, some beasts have been squashed, thank God, but others have just started. Now, we're filming it here in the original cage because of the beef that was called out next to me. This beef is with a group that Demon Monsoon Live has kind of dealt with, which is rough and rowdy um as y'all know i almost a year ago i was supposed to fight on rough and rowdy and they said because i was autistic that's how their middleweight champ said and then they said oh you have too much experience but you first said i'm autistic and i'm a liability but i've had over 22 street beast fights here that i'm gonna call him daddy i just can't even say his name has a beef as an issue tell him what happened well, first and foremost, I just want to explain that even if you have autism, that doesn't disqualify you from fighting. This guy fought today, he kicked some ass, and he won his fight. That's just a cop-out for somebody to say that you can't fight. Regardless, my beef is with Rough and Rowdy. Uh, Chris McCorkle Smith, he's the promoter over there. He's got his friend that fights in the blue corner. I shouldn't even say fights. He's an old fighter. He's a 54-year-old washed-up maniac that thinks he's all this and that. Oh, well, check it out. Listen. I didn't call looking for a fight. This guy came to me looking to fight me for 50 grand. I don't got 50 grand to fight. I don't know what the guy think he is. Anyway, he said he was going to knock me out and then fuck my wife. So you can knock me out. That's fine. But you definitely don't talk about my wife. And as a man, I don't care if you're 54 years old. I'll probably end up putting you in a wheelchair, but you deserve it. You don't talk about another man's wife or family. That's crossing the line. Chris Smith for defending him and not letting the fight happen. As I said it on live and the fight that I just had, I'm 3-0 now. You don't put down a winning fighter and you're just a scumbag piece of crap like him so you know what you guys can take whatever you want i'm going on the top you guys can just and do your own here's thing. the problem we have with this whole rough and rowdy you know you're going after him you did you tried to go after me how do we sell stuff we sell in the yard and coach bang time always holding it down for us and that's what I love about Coach D. What's up, guys? And I'm that's my say, coach away from my coach. Yes, sir. Right, yeah. right there, Daniel These Schultz. guys right here are bad. They both come away with the win today. They don't play around. Yeah. They mean business. And Sit. Rough and Rowdy, how about this? Why don't you have the guts, the grapefruits, to actually bring your best or your fighters to our yard, to street beast, where we settle it. It's gun sound close up. It doesn't matter if you're in a wheelchair. It doesn't matter if you're autistic. It doesn't matter if you're 250, 600 pounds. It doesn't matter. We do this for the love of the sport. And one more thing, one more thing. He just said what we call out any rough and rowdy guy. Well, check this out. Trapzilla, I called you out, and you answered and said you'd fight it, and you turned it down. Hey, this could have been you on 4th of July. Luckily, it wasn't. So, hey, maybe next oh, time I'm going to knock you out. And your whole middleweight champion, whatever his old boy's name on rough and rowdy. Yep. Why don't you bring your butt here, weighty boy? This is how we settle it. We settle it in the cage. Glove up or shove. Man, thanks for being here. Thank you for this, having me. This is one of my boys. This is one of my buddies. Demon Monsoon, we'll be back to our normal shows soon. Happy 4th, because we're airing it on the 4th. Peace. Peace.